I'm not whinging. I'm not whining. Watching the world go by. Oh, I say, look. I made the traffic lights. That's good. It is time to stop and reflect. Now, with any luck, these traffic lights will remain red. So I have time to reflect on life and watch it go by and also adjust my mirror. Come on, yes, little monkey. That's okay. We all need time to uh, observe the green and pop it into gear and get a shift on. Why hello and good afternoon. How the devil are you all? Good. Splendid. Should we let this chap go? Well, the sun is kind of out in places, somewhere. Um, it's a bit on the brisk side. Hence the old uh, gauntlets. But uh, it's dry being very conscious that we're not getting much dry at the moment so help we must go and make every opportunity now I want to put the flip bit down but because I've got my uh, I don't know face tube snooty thing on round me face I pull the lid down, I know it will push it off me nozzle. But okay, yeah, it had well, to put it right on the edge, which is really uncomfortable. Right, I'm not going to get uptight. I'm not going to rant and roar about anything today. I'm going to remain cool, calm, collected, balanced. Um, I have a appointment on Monday for blood pressure, blood tests and an ECG. back of uh, a doctor's appointment I had on Thursday after a couple of weeks of suffering lightheadedness shortness of breath not panting and puffing for breath but just feeling like I've climbed a couple of flights of stairs all the time um, originally put it down to maybe just too much with the old caffeine but after a couple of weeks of it I thought uh, did a home blood pressure check which came back as it always does a bit on the uh, a bit on the high side but with a resting heart rate of 108 one morning which Kind of made me think, okay, I better phone the doctor. <laughs> so 
so we'll see what comes of that, if anything. I mean, I had a short stay in hospital, probably, I don't know, five or six years ago, maybe six years ago, during the Christmas break. Um, I can't remember if I'd woken up. I'd probably woken up, gone back to bed, woken up again in, you know, ready to go over and see the missus and really not felt very well at all and it was bizarre uh, I couldn't stop sort of yawning and stretching and when I say I couldn't stop not you know every minute or so I mean just couldn't stop stretching and yawning stretching yawning permanently and then I came over really unwell um, can't describe it, can't describe it, um, and I just phoned the missus who just said help me, uh, she can't drive so she got her daughter to come over with her, and they took me to A&E, so they tested for heart attack and all that sort of thing, put me on a drip, uh, nebulizer but they couldn't find anything other than um, tachycardia but uh, they kept me in till the early hours of the following morning and and let me go condition that I uh, I would be getting a lift home or a taxi but I didn't I walked because in fairness it is only a six or seven minute walk but uh, so we'll see what uh, what the next couple of weeks bring Hopefully nothing sinister. I think I'm just one of those people that's... Uh whose body clock is just ahead of my uh, biological age or my chronological age I mean I'll be 45 in January and already in the last couple of years I've had my family jewels manipulated by the local GP and then by the ultrasound unit at the hospital and then last year with prostate issues I mean these are old man issues surely but I don't know uh, yeah, so I had to go in and have a flexible uh, uh, cytoscopy or cytocoscopy or something to that effect. Basically where they insert a camera in you into the bladder. And I have to say, uh, that was particularly unpleasant. Um, just just un oh, uncomfortable to say the very least and when they were wriggling the camera around yeah well as you can possibly imagine not nice um, and also last year I had to have 
um, the gastroscopy. So another, another camera down the throat into the stomach. So yeah, all, all fun and games. So God only knows what I'll be suffering from in the next 20 years if I get that far. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Today we're going to go and have a look at the, uh, or I'm going to go and have a look at, I don't know if you'll see it, but <laughs> the CERN Giant. Go on Boom, we can pick up the pace a little bit. Now you see, I have started my infatuation with the Scram and Himalayan all over again. Don't worry Boom, you're safe. To the point that I was even looking if I could get two bikes outside the front of the house, which I am not going to do. It would be a bloody pain in the ass, to be fair. But I don't know, there's just something about the uh, the Himalayan and then the Scram that I like. I don't know what it is. Again, you would have reservations about. The, uh, the the 20 21 brake horsepower or whatever it is even though I had a classic 500 um, I mean and look at this ride here 40 zones in, intermingled with the old 60. What good's 130 brake horsepower here? It ain't. In fact, it would just encourage me to kill myself, wouldn't it? However, I do love the W800. It's just nice to ride. Sounds nice in my opinion. Thing is, it's always difficult to judge until you can hear it in person. Because um, watching stuff on YouTube, the biggest problem is that it depends on their recording setup and what microphone they're using and where their microphone is placed. Slippy slippy slippy! So yeah, sound, we're talking about sound. Um, I mean, when Tame was riding Wendy, um, you know, before I got the W800, back when I had Myrtle, um, I didn't think much of the sound of it. Um, I just couldn't hear it really, it sounded a bit muted and buzzy it doesn't sound the same as it does on my videos uh, watching them back well, I've watched a couple of Ainsworths I've watched a bit of everybody actually Oh, 
I would have loved to have gone to join in with the ring of, excuse me, with the ring of red. Hopefully I'll be able to do it next year. It's just something cool about being part of a big group like that. here and go up the hill but that means going through a ford we can go and have a look wasn't overly keen on that last uh, last time I came Be adventurous. I do hope that camera down there is recording. It's blinking. Oh, I did like uh, Aussie biker dudes impression of me very good <laughs> I tell you he's got the wrong idea about me <laughs> I must send some stickers his way Drop you an email, give me your address, I'll send some... Uh, in high demand, I stiddy stickers. You lucky man, you. those rolling hills who need Yorkshire way yet I don't know
say, look at all this wonderful wetness on the road. You can't beat it. Oh jeez, look at this. Yeah, all right. Okie dokie. Do 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 do. Sorry, bird. Well, if the weather's dry tomorrow, I'll give you a clean. Say I don't spoil you. I was going to pull in there and just wipe the camera, but I didn't want to startle that elderly gentleman. Bumpity bump. Smudge it with me thumb instead. Uh, now we could get a quick. Let's put some heating on. One, one should do. Now there is a gate there. Potentially with a view. Plastic bags in the way. You're all burn chugging away. Oh, saddlebags, look at this. There he is. Bloody filthy again. Right. Let's be off. I will catch you all next time. Tatty bye. I'm not going to make those likes, am I? But that's okay. Because as Uncle Jamesy says, it's a time to just sit and watch the world go by. Sitting and I'm watching. Do 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 do.
do do sitting and watching hum hum